So, quick update on me. Uh, I've got this uncontrollable rage thing. I've withdrawn from all my friends, and I'm also failing on my classes. Um, and uh, it's, it's been a rough six months. All from being molested every day by someone not at this table. Anyways, what's up with you guys? Charles not gonna sit down with you over dinner and explain, oh, hey, I think I'm, you know, I'm being physically abused at school or I'm being physically abused by a family member. They might be afraid. They might have been threatened. They might think that it's even normal. Or maybe they love the person that is even doing this to them. One in 10 children will be sexually abused by the time they're 18 years old. The 836 children that we saw last year at the point of interview, that's just Travis County. Those are children being victimized in Travis County. We're the fastest growing city in the country, and with that growth come a lot of people, come a lot of challenges, come a lot of pressures. That growth is creating economic challenges for people. There's a proportional rise in the number of cases we're seeing that corresponds with the growth of the city. So more than ever, the mission of this center is so critical. A lot of people are very nervous about making a report. We are our children's voices, and if we don't report it, we are to blame. Some people will ask, well, what if I'm wrong? And so my answer to that will always be, well, what if you're right? I first met this child when she was six years old. She came in under allegations of sexual abuse. What happened with that particular situation was that her uncle would take her to the park. He would tell her, dress up in your prettiest outfit. Let's go to the park. In some parks, there are these huge tunnels. And he would tell her, we'll go on into the tunnel. And she would. And it was at that particular time and place that he would sexually abuse her. And this went on for several years. She came in and she gave her interview. And at that particular time, she was this little six-year-old girl who walked in my office and sat down and looked at me and just kind of had this smile on her face. And I began to realize that she wasn't smiling because she was happy. She was smiling because she was frozen. There's a very old saying, it takes a village to raise a child, and that couldn't be more true because one person can't do it alone. Our village is the child protection team. The child protection team is really critical. It's the model that really best manages the evaluation and investigation of children in whom abuse is suspected. It consists of the Center for Child Protection, Dell Children's Hospital, District Attorney's Office, law enforcement, and Child Protective Services. The great thing about the Center for Child Protection is we have had the opportunity here in Travis County to have a one-stop shop idea. We have a lot of resources that when we utilize the center and we work together as a team, the child is only interviewed the one time, and we can make sure that the family is surrounded by a supportive environment for healing. What our center does here that makes me so proud is not just about getting the information we need to bring justice to those victims, but it's starting the healing process. And what this center is doing as these cases continue to grow is ensuring that we are creating survivors. Today, this girl is a cheerleader. She is at the top of her class. She has many friends. That is awesome. To have gone from this little six-year-old girl who came in and sat down and had this weird smile on her face and would never say a word, to today, where she gets to have a normal life. We all have a responsibility to be looking out for the children in this community. The Spot It Stop It campaign is a way for the community to understand the signs of abuse. The message behind the campaign is, you know, no child is, is gonna put things in, in, in terms the way adults do. 
SpotAtStopIt.org is an incredible resource to be able to learn more about the center, to be able to spot signs of abuse. The community is absolutely critical to everything we do here at the center. The work that our team is doing gets these children on the path to healing. Every life that you change is one beautiful success story. And because of the center, because of the generosity of its supporters, we're saving lives, we're changing lives, and we're taking people that have no voice and providing them with their voice.